And I'm back with the Nancy Zeman 2017 block of the month. We are on month September and we're doing the whirly gig block. And this is how the block looks online. And this block is put together in a 5x5 five five setting for a 25 patch. And so I have taken the liberty of combining some of these patches so that I'm not sewing all squares, all 25 squares. So, for, for this section here, I'm combining two squares. So, I'm cutting that three and one half by six and a half. I need four of those. And then I go into this section here. I need to make this large half square triangle. So, I'm cutting two squares that are six and seven eighths. And I'm cutting them once diagonally. And then I need to make this quarter square area here. And so I'm going to cut a square from two different fabrics. And I'm going to cut them seven and one fourth inch square. And I'm going to cut them twice diagonally. And then the last thing you'll need is your center square. So I have on my wall here the fabrics that I have chosen. I will set up my quarter square triangle and show you how that's made i'm back and i have laid out my units and done some pre-sewing just to show you how this block goes together and over here on the left you have your three-piece units you want to first sew your two smaller units on the left together along that short seam line and then once you get those two sewn together you'll end up with a unit like that and then you're going to sew your large half square triangle onto the two piece unit. Now the two piece unit has a line going straight down the middle. When you want to add your large half square triangle, take your large half square triangle and fold it in half. And then put a little fold right there. And then that little fold mark will show you where to place that on your piece unit so that they match up perfectly in the center so you're not worried about your piece not being square so there you go you should sew perfectly but just in case you don't that's another way of making sure that you have your centers lined up and this block looks a little funny because it's not laying flat on the design wall, but it is pieced correctly. So I'm going to go piece all four of these units and I'll be right back. I have all four of my units sewn together and the next step is to sew a rectangle to the left side of this unit. So make sure all of your units are sewn in the exact same manner. So I will sew them all together and then I will come back with block layout. So now I have my block laid out and all I did was just took this unit and turned it one quarter turn all the way around the quilt top. Now the tricky part comes in how to sew this block together and we're going to actually do what's called a partial seam. I am going to take this square, put it onto this piece and then I'm just going to sew half of this seam and then I'm going to stop. Once that is sewn, you'll have your seam here, and now this unit will line up completely with the next unit once you have the seam allowance in. So I will do that all the way around, and then I will also add this piece on, and then we'll come back when I need to do the finishing seam. Here is my sewn block and I've sewn all four of my pieces onto this center square. Again, I started with a partial seam where I flipped this square up, sewed from the center out. Once I did that, the length of this measured the same length over here. So I was able to add this 
around and so as I kept going around I kept adding on to the seam line so then I was able to add this one third and then this one was the last one now I'm back and I have to finish my partial seam and it's really very simple you just flip this down and you can see where I have my partial seam here already and I can either start at that point or I can start at the end and sew down to my partial seam and stop. So I'll go finish this block and come back. So here is my completed block and my partial seam line is up on the top. I just want to make sure that when you complete your partial seam that you start and end in the same place. That way your seam will not have a zigzag in it so that everything will match up in your completed block. So that is it for the Whirly Gig block. I'll add additional blocks in the video so you can see my year long progress as well as any other blocks that I have received. Remember that the link to the actual patterns is in the description box and I have all of the videos in a playlist. You can just click the I at the top of the video. See you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.